Hey, it's Sam Beck here. Welcome to this video. Now, I'm excited today to introduce you to Video Wave. This is a new ranking software for YouTube uh, and for Google. It's going to allow you to create videos and then rank them inside of Google. Plus, it'll help you to find the keywords and verify those keywords that they are uh, keywords that you could actually rank for, which is quite useful. So this is one of the videos that I created just a moment ago. It was for Laptop Startup. And you can see here that it has music. I can adjust my music. I can make sure it's a bit quieter if I want to. I can make it louder if I wanted to. I can even mute it if I want to as well. Now, I can edit the, um, the uh, music by doing this and just going to volume. So what I've done is I've created a video here. You can actually view this video. I'll show it to you right now. Um, I converted it. I created a movie to be uploaded to YouTube. And this is what it looks like. Here it is right here. So we've got the video, we have the clouds, and we can also see, I, I actually added one of my own videos to test one of my own videos inside of here as well. And the quality, as you can see, isn't bad. Um, it's not HD quality by any means, but this is fine for YouTube. It's YouTube quality, which is, which is completely fine. Okay, so back now to the software. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch right now and show you how you can actually build a video with this as if I was using this as a as video wave recommends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to project and I'm going to create a new project here today. I'm going to say yes, I would like to a new one. I've already saved my last project and let's start from scratch. So the first step when you get in here, you'll see that there's one track. Now I'm going to give myself some room and I'm going to create a few tracks right here. There I am. I've just added a few tracks and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decide what kind of video I want to create. So in order to do that, I need to use this step right here. So there's these different steps they've created right here. It says steps to success and you can follow along the different steps of this method here. Step number one, we can go ahead and enter keywords and find keywords that are ranking. So we might enter fitness in for example. Let's see if that works. Now it's going to come back and it's going to say no, that's not a good keyword. And the reason it says that is that there's a ton of competition in that search term and it's unrealistic that you'll actually be able to go ahead and rank for that. So let's do for example uh, bicep curl, hopefully I've pronounced that, uh, created that right, curl workout. Is that going to be a good keyword? So you can do your own keyword research. This isn't bad. It's below average. It's not great, but it's it's not bad. Um, let's try, for example, laptop startup. Okay, new website that I'm bringing out very soon. Uh, that are, it's a new product that I've got coming out. Poor. Okay, there's so surprisingly some competition for that. So let's look at Sandbacker laptop startup. And I, I do know that some people are actually already ranking for that because they hear me talking about it and they're already looking to get uh, become an affiliate. So here we are, um, Sandbacker laptop startup. We have an excellent guaranteed rank prediction keyword. Now, the way that it ranks this, and you think, you know, how does it know that this is an excellent keyword? What it does is it actually reviews how many results are in Google. This is what I'm assuming it does. This is the way that I'd probably do it. I'd see how many results are in Google, how many current videos are ranking, and how many backlinks those videos actually have, okay? They might just look at the results though, how many keywords or how many people are actually trying to rank for these keywords and base it on that. Okay, if there's a lot of people, like hundreds of thousands of results, if we look at fitness, for example, you know, it's going to show, you know, I think that's over a trillion results. Um, it shows that and, uh, you know, the the chance of ranking in this is next to impossible. Okay, it's, um, it's, you know, you'd have to be established and ranking for a very, very long period of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Laptop Startup, Sandbacker Laptop Startup as our main keyword. So we would actually name our video Sandbacker Laptop Startup, something like that. So it ranks for that particular keyword and we'd make sure our URL goes in there. So how do we do that? What's the next step in creating a video? Well, there's two editing panels here. The first is over here. The second is over here. Or the first is over here. The second is over here. Whichever way you want to look at it. This is where you can add media. This is where you can import media. Yes, you can actually import your own videos into this. Green screen videos, um, background videos. You can import uh, you know, any type of video that you can think of. You can actually import into this from YouTube. Also, slideshow templates. Now, this is quite good. This import media is really good. And I'll, I'll explain why that's quite useful in uh, a moment. 
Then we've got over here, we've got title, zoom in, fade in audio, and fade out audio. So if we go to title, we add in a title right here. That's usually how it would open a, uh, a video. We can adjust how long it's going to run for, let's say five seconds. And then we can double click on it or left click, uh, right click, depending on what kind of computer you're using. And we can click edit. Or we can even add a voiceover if we, we wanted to. So if I wanted to record something right now, I could allow my mic and it's going to go ahead and it's going to give me a chance to record it. So I might say, welcome to Laptop Starter. This is the URL where you can get the best deal. Something like that. Okay. Uh, it was quick. I was thinking on my feet. There we are. Let's try it. Okay, so there it is. It's a little bit quiet. Uh, so what I'll do is I could actually go ahead and I could click uh, filters and I could actually increase the volume of this if I wanted to as well. So we've got our intro. We are going to go ahead now and edit some text. So we can click edit and we're going to add our title in. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to click on this. We're going to say, welcome to Laptop Startup. We're going to enter in a URL. So it might be, you know, Laptop Top Startup startup.com slash go for example and that might be our affiliate link okay so we're going to put this in here and then we're going to go ahead and save it's going to be added into our video and now if we go ahead and preview this it takes a little bit to load when you're loading the preview welcome to laptop startup this is the url where you can get the best deal okay so there we are we've added this in we've got our first uh title added in and there we go so we've added our intro now we might want to go ahead and add in some media we go over to a media media editor and you can see here i've got an imported video that i imported just before so we're going to go in here we're going to grab a video so they have a range of different videos here you can add in when you're creating your videos everything from 3d character animations to animals to animal backgrounds to food uh, depending on what kind of niche you're ranking for. You've got industry backgrounds, you've got people, and this will just get you started because you can add any video from YouTube, by the way. We've got technology here as well, so we can add in some technology ones. You know, this might be actually quite good. Actually, this one looks cool. Taking photos with my phone. Ah, oh, typing on keyboard. All right, let's do typing on keyboard. We add this in. We can either add it in um, above or below, and it's just a matter of dragging and dropping. We're going to add this in here, so uh, check it out. Now we've got a new video that's been added into our canvas and we can preview this by clicking on this and clicking load. It's going to go ahead and load and depending on what kind of file it is, how big it is, it's either going to take a long time to load or a shorter time to load. Cool, so now let's go ahead and um, the loading time, this is one disadvantage of the software by the way, the preview when you use some larger videos, it loads for a long time and um, that's one disadvantage of the software that I've noticed. Cool, so let's go ahead and add some more media to this. So we can add in some audio, we can go ahead to music, we can add in some music, we can add in some sound effects, ambient sound. I really like this track right here, A Fortunate Day. Go in, add this in, and then again, we've added this into a canvas, we can drag it across. So what we've got now is we've got some music. Now the music might be a bit loud when you first add it. We can change that really easily by clicking on filters, right clicking, and then going ahead and making the music a bit uh, shorter. So let's try that out. Cool, so um, the music is actually a lot louder than my voice that I've seen, so we may even want to put that right down, and I usually have to do that on many of the videos I do, and that'll decrease the sound on the video so you can actually hear my audio coming through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to import a video. Now how do we import a video? We click on this import media right here. We can create a new video from our webcam. We can add a new piece of audio from our voice recorder, which is going to be a lot clearer than the one I just recorded. Um, we can also go ahead... Um, we can just record it, I should say, um, and make sure that you're right close to the mic so it sounds really good. <laughs> and then we can import from YouTube and we can use text-to-speech. Now, import speech is basically we have a robot voice sound um, that reads the text for you. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not really personal. And the goal of this is to get people watching our videos and actually clicking through to our affiliate link. So I don't think this feature is very good. But, I mean, it's there. You, you may need to, you know, you may be able to find a way of using it. I don't know of one that I would currently use it on, but you might be able to find a way of using it. Maybe they have some training on it. And then we can go ahead and import from YouTube. So we can click import from YouTube. We can go over to YouTube and we can grab some video content. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab some video content today. I'll grab my Easegram um, review that I did, my video here, 
and I'm gonna add this in. We're gonna import this video. So we click on this, we import the video. Now one of the things that I have been impressed by is that it takes next to no time at all to import videos. So you can see that I've already successfully imported this video. I go over to my media over here and we've got EaseGram review right here. We can add this in really quick, okay, really quick. That's a, a real advantage of this software. We have it in, it's imported, it's there and the audio is in there as well. So um, that's fully available. We would want to uh, you know, turn down our audio a little bit more. We can also cut this as well. So we can use the editing tools in here to cut and we can delete uh, this by clicking on uh, remove if we want to. Or what I can do is I can actually just drag this down to here and delete it that way. So we've got in our video now. We've got a preview of our video that's showing. We have a, a live person video which preview isn't showing yet. And we have also our introduction. Now, if I wanted to, what I could do is I could then go ahead and I could import some slideshow templates, some images. These slideshow templates could be from photo, uh, you know, sorry, not Photoshop, but PowerPoint. And I could add this in as well if I wanted to. Okay, this is also available. I can color them and I can create a slideshow video if I wanted to as well. Um, I've created a video now that would probably be sufficient if I had this content for Laptop Startup, if this video is from Laptop Startup. And what I would do and, and what you should do, what I recommend you doing is um, actually create the video yourself then add it into the software, add an intro, add some of the other features that they have in here, and then create your movie. Save it, upload it to YouTube, then use the software to navigate. Now if I've covered anything too fast today, you can rewatch this video, or what you can do is you can actually go and there's some training on exactly how to use this software. There's a ton of training on this, so you can go in there and you won't have any problems using this software if it looks a little bit technical. Um, it's quite easy to use once you go and edit it. Plus it has you know, everything laid out really easily. And if you've used editors like this before, you'll find it quite easy to navigate and use. So filters and elements, we've got fade in audio, we've got fade out audio, we can actually fade in the audio if we want to, and we can fade out the audio if we want to as well. We can also zoom in to certain content if we want to. I'm not gonna do that, but we can zoom into certain images and you know, create the movie as we want it to be. Now I'm going to click save. I'm going to save my project. My project name is going to be Laptop Startup. Oh, Sandbacker Laptop Startup, what we're ranking for. Sandbacker Laptop Startup. We click save. And then we're going to create our movie right now. So we're going to put in Sandbacker Laptop Startup Movie. And we're going to put high as the video quality. And we're going to click on create movie. Now the rendering time once again is actually a lot faster than you'll see in other softwares. It's been a major problem for a lot of softwares. You know, it takes forever to render. This software doesn't have that problem. I'm not entirely sure how they've done that. It might be because it's a cloud-based software, not a desktop software. Um, very, very quick. So uh, I'm going to come back once it's at 100% and we're going to continue. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. Here I am. Um, now we're going to put in Sandbacker Laptop. Start. Oh, actually, I've already done that. What am I doing? I'm too eager. So then we've got this here. This is the movie that I just created. We can preview it inside of our um, our web online right now if we wanted to. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to download this right here. So I'm downloading it and I'm going to come back once it's downloaded so we can preview this fully. Here it is. Let's play it. Okay, so you can see there, once we go to the next slide, there's no issues now. Um, the preview did have a slight issue, but no issues watching the video. It works perfectly. The person's typing. He's doing what I want him to. And then as we go through, we have the video that I've added from YouTube, okay? Now, I told you that I'd show you a, a really cool method for doing videos. What you can do is, because YouTube content is uh, public content, you can't directly, I mean, you can't directly copy it. It's on YouTube, but you can't directly co copy it. What you can do, though, is you can take snippets out of other videos. You can combine those that talk about different methods, different strategies, or different things relating to your keyword. And you can actually add those videos from YouTube even if you don't add those videos, even if the videos aren't yours, even if you didn't create them. You can actually use parts of those videos as long as you make the video your own. Now you can use, uh, you can read about, um, I believe it's, uh, free, uh, there, there is a term for it, I can't, I can't think of it right now, but there's basically fair use, that's the term for it, fair use. Anything that's on YouTube is fair use, which means that you can use it as long as you change it and make it your own. 
own okay so you can actually add other people's videos into these videos as you want and make uh, your videos even better combining them with other people's videos which will save you a ton of time so we've done our video now what do we do well we first of all upload it to YouTube and once we have our YouTube URL we go to step number four now step number four is called cuckoo it's an app called Cuckoo. It's an external software. It's not inside of the VideoWave software. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, so I've opened this up. And basically what you do is you click on New Post. It's going to load up a new post. You choose which accounts you want to go ahead and update to. You type in your post and then you publish it. And it publishes out to all of these different social networks. Now the advantage is that you get a bunch of backlinks that are rank, uh, suddenly being seen for this video. And that's again one of the major components and one of the major um, factors when it comes to YouTube or Google actually going ahead and ranking a YouTube video inside of Google. So it will help. Will it help on competitive terms? Not really, no. Um, this will only help on keywords where there isn't much competition at all. If you want to rank for keywords where there is already a video ranking, for example, then you'll need to generate more external backlinks. You'll need to generate, um, you know, get more of your video, get basically uh, websites embedding your video that really helps and it, it helps to have more subscribers on your YouTube channel it also helps to have a lot of people viewing your videos for a long period of time that will help to um, increase your ranking for those competitive search terms okay so um, that's the software in action I hope that I've shown you this in full now and you understand what it does how to use it and how this might help your business now this isn't going to help everyone's business you might already have software that um, does something similar to this right you might have uh, a software that already does something similar if you do then you can use that software to apply this method if you don't this is a good option um, the video editor is easy to use uh, the training is there it's easy to follow they do have a the, this keyword um, prediction which is actually really quite cool as well I found that really quite useful and you know step number four syndication to different social media sites well you can probably go and do that yourself on another website it's good they've combined it inside of this package anyway cool so thanks for listening I hope this has been helpful I really appreciate you um, uh, staying on this long on this video and I hope that I've, I've done a, a good job in showing you exactly what's inside the software what you can do with it and when you go to the sales page you now know what the software does and whether it's going to work for your business or not so down below you can find out more about it there's some bonuses down there as well you uh, down there down below as well um, that you can look at and get access to with this package thanks once again for listening to this video uh, I look forward to talk with you again soon this is Sam Becker. I'll see you later.